First go to edit and then preferences and now search for landscape. Now check this checkbox. Now go to add and let's add in a landscape. Now from the drop down you can find many presets but I like the mountain one preset and you can also change the random seed value for random mountains. To get more details increase the x and y subdivisions to a number like 512 but this may take some time. Now press N and go to create landscape tools and select landscape eroder. This may take some time. Now if you go to wet paint mode you can see that it has created these wet maps which we can use while texturing. Now go to edit mode and smart V project. This may take a little while depending on your system. Now select the principal BSDF and press Ctrl Shift T if you have node wrangler turn on and select the textures. Now duplicate the principal BSDF again and this time I will add a snow material. Now I have decided to use this capacity map. So with that selected go to vertex paint and select vertex color from weight. If you want to see that clearly you can preview in flat mode. Now in the shader editor add attribute node and in the color attributes you can see our vertex color which is name as col. So type the exact name there. Then add a mix shader to both principal bsdf and then plug the attribute node into the factor. Then add a color ramp to control the values. You can also add the displacement of the rock material to the shader output to make it look cool. Now this step is optional. Add a geometry node and a separate xyz node and plug the normal into the vector. Then plug the z value and the color value into the mix color node and set the blending mode to color dodge. Now you can tweak the factor value, I will set it to 0.7. And there you go, staggering mountains in 2 minutes.